26 veterans spanning three different wars flown out to D.C. early this week for the 75th anniversary of D-Day, arriving back today to a huge crowd, hugs, and plenty of thank yous. For me, it was an honor. Even before the plane landed, family, friends, and firefighters waiting for these veterans on the tarmac. Uh -huh. Inside the Sunport, an even bigger crowd. Many waving American flags, others had banners, some even dressed in World War II era clothes. Twins Jackson and Sawyer Simpkins, just 10 years old, wanting to thank veterans for their service. It means so much to me and everyone else. Um, it's very cool to be here. For some veterans, it was the welcome home they never got before. Thank you. Yep, veterans. It's very awesome, man. I'm glad. I'm glad they're treating the veterans. That's it. Because when I come back from Vietnam, nobody cared, ever, about anything, but now they do. Veterans saying the support touches their hearts. Just to let them know that we were here for them and uh, for them to be here for us. The veterans spent the last few days touring the nation's capital as part of the annual honor flight, a gift to those who have given so much. And for the families there today, Woo! some special moments. Oh, there, there. Grandpa! Grandpa! Hey, hey Grandpa! Hi, you. you. Welcome over here. Welcome home. Here, Grandpa. And even some time for reflection to all of those who have ever served or are serving right now. To be proud, no matter what branch or how much time you serve or where you serve, be proud that you serve your country. Exciting stuff there. Now, now, this is the sixth annual honors flight for veterans in northern New Mexico. And one big thing that makes this event so great is that all these veterans get to do this for free. Reporting Brandon Evans, KOT Action 7 News. And so many great stories. You've met a lot of yeah. really cool people and a lot of heartwarming stories, as you said. Yes, yeah, spoke with one veteran, went to war before he graduated high school, actually fought in two wars, wow. came back got his high school degree at 81 years old. He's now 94. He says he's looking forward to his 20th anniversary Amazing. high school reunion. We're going to have to revisit that story for sure. Absolutely. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much, Brandon.